Okay, so you may have heard a thing or two about SHSH files needing to be stored locally if you want to continue jailbreaking your iDevice. And this is because Apple requires your phone or iPod or whatever to be signed by Apple servers saying, yes, this phone is okay to have an update. Now, Cydia, the jailbreak store, has been taking care of this for you um, by putting up their own SHSH servers so your phone can just check with... Uh, uh, with Cydia, and then and then it, Cydia will send back a response that's like, "Yep, you're okay." And then your jailbreak won't it, Apple won't you know uh, counter your jailbreak with a, "Hey, you can't do this." Problem is, Cydia's servers are down right now, and so if you want to jailbreak, you might have some problems. To avoid having these issues, um, you need to save your SHSH file locally, and that's just the response from Apple that says, "Yep, you're good." Um, and it's important that you do this because it's unique to your device. You have to do this for all your devices. And there's a little program um, called Tiny Umbrella that can help you do that. So I'm just going to open up Tiny Umbrella. And you can download this from Big Boss, which is linked in the post. And you'll see it will look something like this. Now, you may get an error when you launch this saying um, that, that uh, HTTP, HTTPD needs to be uh, closed before you can actually start your TSS server, and that's because um, it needs to use a web server. That means you just have web sharing enabled. So just turn that off if you need to actually start the TSS server. But for what we're doing, we just need to actually um, save a copy of our SH, SH file. Um, so right now I have my phone plugged in, and I'm going to enter recovery mode. And by doing that, uh, we're going to be able to save the SHSH file. I'm going to click that button. It's going ahead and saving it. So that took a little while, but as you can see, it pulled out the SHSH files for my phone here uh, for various versions. And what we need to do is tell the phone that we don't want to use Cydia's SHSH stuff. So I'm going to uncheck Request SHSH from Cydia and Set Host to Cydia on Exit and then apply those changes. And then I just need to quit and restart Tiny Umbrella. Here we go. Now when you need to restore, you'll be able to do that because you have your SHSH file saved and you have it set to restore from here instead of, uh, instead of using Cydia's servers. So instead of Cydia's servers, you actually just start your local TSS server and you'll be able to make that restore should you need to in the event that Cydia's servers are not back up and you need to restore your SHSH manually.